What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, a big box good. The personal beach table by Rio I picked up at Walmart for $14. Today, an unboxing of first impressions and overview. Let's talk about why a table like this, a personal beach table, is a good idea. Summer, it's right around the corner. Even though it's cold, it's windy, it's blustery outside, let's take your mind off that momentarily and focus on the warm summer sunny days soon to come. Without further ado, let's take a look at why this personal beach table I picked up at Walmart for $13.99 is a good idea. Now, getting this table open for the first time, it's fairly simple to understand and figure out, but surprisingly good is just how smooth everything unfolds, but also just how tight the legs are. Also, you'll notice an adjustment at the bottom of the leg, almost like a tripod, sliding the legs into position or folding them into position, I should say. No locking mechanism here. And also what you'll notice is the legs fold in, which is also a good opportunity to point out why exactly a table like this is meant to act as a table and not as a chair. As you can see, it's because the legs fold in, but like I said to begin the segment, surprisingly good. So far so good. The build quality is better than I expected and the usability I think is better than expected. And like we just demonstrated, the table can be positioned either six inches from the ground or unfold the legs for up to a foot above the ground. And last, but most importantly, not least, the good news, even though the legs of the table swivel instead of lock, you'll notice that the table at $13.99 and with its limitations remains perfectly level. Now, adding to the sort of gimmickiness or what actually makes this the perfect or ideal reference video for future camping accessories, beach going accessories, is of course the dimension. So we know exactly how much weight it can hold up to 30 pounds, but even though it includes a pretty clear and close up image of the product on the front of the packaging, again, no specific measurements as to the width or height of the table itself. So I think you saw in the previous demonstration, the table actually folds to either six inches or an entire foot off the ground. But you're probably wondering, looking over the camera, is this a rectangle or is it a square? And it's actually pretty close. Wide, it's 16 inches. Height is 14 and a half inches. So not quite a square, it's rectangular. Even though it looks square, the dimensions are 16 by 14. Okay, now that we've done the unboxing, the first impressions, it's simple to use to set up. It's self-explanatory, surprisingly good. Even though the legs swivel instead of lock, they're good quality. And like I said, keep the table level. Also, we talked about something missing from the front of the box. We know from measuring the table, it's a rectangle. It's 16 by 14, we saw that. But like I said, instead of the first impressions only, let's also add in a couple of demonstrations and test this table. Maybe try standing on it, attempt to sit on it, see what the outcome is, and document it. So even though it's not meant to sit or stand, I figured we would test it anyway and see the results for ourselves. Now, one reason I know it's not meant for sitting or standing is the quality of the legs themselves. They don't lock, they swivel, which is one reason. Of course, they fold in instead of outward, which is another reason. But most importantly, and you'll see in the video overlaid is in the stress test, stepping on the table, it does a phenomenal job of staying upright, but you'll notice that the top of the table, the white section, which I placed my foot on top of and applied pressure, flexed. But the good news 
you'll notice in the video, it returns to its original form. So surprisingly good, even though it has a weight limit of up to 30 pounds, if you exceed the weight limit, the plastic should fold and flex and then return to normal. So had I probably applied pressure using both of my feet standing completely on top of the table, I weigh about 210 pounds, I probably would have broken the table and rendered it useless for the rest of the review. So like I said, I placed a single foot on top of the table, roughly 60 to 70 PSI, I would say. I applied pressure. What you'll also notice in the video was I placed my foot both perpendicular and laterally to get an even result and was happy with both outcomes. So like I said in previous segments, surprisingly good, not meant to sit or stand. I think you saw because the way the top of the table flexed, it flexed inward almost like a trampoline. It doesn't have spring like a trampoline, but just for lack of a better comparison, it returned to normal. But I think the point here is it's still uh, not supportive enough to sit or stand, but should do a fine job of holding up, just using it and placing maybe a couple of extra items on top of it, exceeding the weight limit, that sort of thing. For $13.99, like I said, surprisingly good. And last but not least, this review would be unfair if we stood on it without sitting on it next, which we did. And as you saw, the results, just like standing on this table, are surprisingly good. So not only did I apply pressure with my foot two different ways, but also attempted to sit on the table. Even though it didn't work, it was uncomfortable. It's not meant to support someone sitting on top of it. It has, like I said in the beginning of the video, a weight limit of 30 pounds. The good news, and because it's more than likely to happen, taking this to the beach, a friend or a family member runs back from the water, they sit on it, wipe sand off their feet, it happens. The good news, as you can see, even though it has a weight limit of 30 pounds, it flexes inwards, but returns to its original form. So the downside here is after standing on it and sitting on it, it does concave ever so slightly. And I think you may see that over the camera lens, but the good news, it remains relatively level and flat surface making this, like I said, surprisingly good if someone accidentally sits on it or applies pressure over or exceeding the 30 pound weight limit. Anyways, guys, that has been a first impressions overview, quick look and demonstration of the features and capacities of the personal beach table by Rio. I picked up at Walmart for $13.99. A little bit gimmicky, lacking important information on the front of the packaging. Of course, width and height is missing. It has a maximum weight limit of 30 pounds, which we tested to its maximum or almost maximum. It did a surprisingly good job of keeping its form and function, but we also saw the dimensions of the table, which like I said, are missing from the packaging. We also demonstrated how packable and portable, as you can see, it folds up and actually slides right back into its included carrying pouch. For $13.99, like I said, lacking information, just a tad gimmicky, could probably support more weight than actually advertised on the front of the packaging, but maybe five or 10 pounds no more than that, I would say this table can accommodate. That being said, other tables on the market that cost more are going to support more. This sits either a half a foot or a foot off the ground. If you need a table taller, there are a variety of options. This is a casual, portable, easy to take option. You can set it up in a moment's notice place drinks on top of it, a small portable radio, sit by the lakeside, by the pool, at the beach, and of course it comes with the included carrying pouch. So far so good. The good news here is this 
personal beach table by Rio for $13.99. Surprisingly good. Like I said, looks a little bit gimmicky on the front of the packaging. It lacks information. The fit and finish of the packaging itself, specifically the portable carrying case, make this look cheaper. But because it performs as well as it did, of course, you saw me stand on the table applying roughly 60 to 70 pounds. I applied pressure using my foot two different ways. So exceeded the weight capacity by 30 or 40 pounds or double. This performed extraordinarily well. So a seasonal item at Walmart, a cheap seasonal item, but a good item, a good option. And the good news here, even though a little bit gimmicky, still good. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing of first impressions, a test and overview of the personal beach table by Rio. I picked up at Walmart because I picked this up at Walmart. That makes this a big box. Good to see more reviews like this. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube and share this video with friends and family. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.